how do you sell your cattle? So if those cattle are sold on a live weight basis, then there's really no reason not to use Revlor XH pretty much for all heifers. The exception would be really short fed heifers, so maybe 130 days and less, or really long fed heifers, 220 days or more. But aside from those two exceptions, performance is identical between a traditional reimplant program and Revlor XH, so no reason to, to venture into reimplant there. Alternatively, if those cattle are sold on a carcass basis, be that either in the beef or on a grid, then there's a little more consideration. You give up mm, four pounds or so of carcass weight and then deal with all the fat measurements. So compared to a traditional reimplant program, um, they're gonna grade a little bit better in terms of quality grade, but they're also gonna have uh, fatter carcasses, so more yield grade fours and fives. Not huge differences, but still they're there. So kind of have to understand the economics of your labor situation to make that decision on a carcass basis. Not approved for repeated implantation with this or any other cattle implant and growing beef heifers fed in confinement for slaughter. Safety and effectiveness following re-implantation have not been evaluated. Do not use in beef calves less than two months of age dairy calves and veal calves. A withdrawal period has not been established for this product in pre-ruminating calves. Do not use in dairy cows or in animals intended for subsequent breeding. Use in these cattle may cause drug residues in milk and or in calves born to these cows. Implant pellets subcutaneously in ear only. Any other location is a violation of federal law. Do not attempt salvage of implanted site for human or animal food. Not for use in humans. Keep out of reach of children. For complete safety information, refer to the product label.